to look, people, they don't see things that are in their face here. For example, like we were just talking about, what are central banks doing? What has the Fed been doing for months? Raising rates, raising rates, raising rates. What's happening? Inflation is going up. When are people going to say, hold on a minute, it's not working? See, they can't, it, it's a simple thing to do, but people can't put it together. They, they don't understand that it's the purchasing power of the currency that is being sucked out. And it's not an issue with regard to rates. It's, it's not. This whole thing with raising rates here was never meant to do a thing. All it's doing here is keeping people distracted. Um, and to, to look over here, don't look over here. Uh, it's, it's not a rate issue, like we said, but people don't get it. They won't understand it because they're not taught this stuff. They're not told about it. And the mainstream media isn't, it will never mention that we are in a currency crisis, a full, and this is the early stages of it. I mean, this is nothing compared to what's what's coming down the pike here. The bigger issue is, and I've, you and me have spoken about this, and you have got central banks uh, theft here that have been on a binge, uh, you know, inflating, buying assets uh, around uh, uh, like we've never seen before for over an entire decade and adding to the pool of existing funds. It was only a matter of time before all of these extra bills started chasing a lesser amount of goods. It's just economics 101, but you see people aren't even taught that. So uh, the root cause of what we're seeing here is, um, is, is the death of the currency. It's not a matter of rates, but people are gonna be duped, lied to, propagandized and distracted. Uh, and they're not gonna understand what's going on because that's how it's meant to be. People are always told to look here by the mainstream, but then but they're never told to go look in another direction. Whenever the mainstream media wants you to look at something, no matter what it is, when they keep focusing on it, realize that there is something else going on. When they push people's attention, look over that, look at what's happening here. That means there's a something else bigger going on in the background, and that's just the way it always works. Well, you know, look, there's always the risk that, uh, you know, that a dividend can be pulled, but not in this environment here. Again, we're not see this is we're not in a market crash in any way, shape, or form. We're seeing a correction in the market based upon action in the debt market. Are they going to stabilize that? We'll see. Um, the, the, a, a crash, you know, when we're talking about a crash here, and all I pay attention to is a big sell-off in the debt market, which we were seeing as of late, uh, an uncontrolled spiking in that ten-year yield. When the how we're going to know we're, at, we're in the crash mode is when we see the 10-year yield rising 20, 30, 40 basis points per day, okay, per day, bam, 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 bam. When you start to see that 10-year yield surge like that, it's going to wipe out the stock market. It's going to wipe out the stock market, okay, just as the reverse has been going on for a very, very long time, suppressed rates here have inflated a bubble in uh, real estate and in the stock market. And again, nothing has a price discovery mechanism behind it because of this. Um, that's how we're going to know. So, you know, keep your eye on these things. And I set this all up for everyone. Very simple, a very easy equation. Looking at the relative strength of the dollar, looking at the 10-year yield, a little fancy math here, and you come up with a number. It's called the Manorino Market Risk Indicator. It's free to everybody who wants to look at it. It's right on my website, traderschoice.net, top of the second page. Pay attention to that. When that starts to spike, okay, we're, we're right now in high risk. The next next step is extreme. When we get to that extreme level, <laughs> I think people really need to start uh, maybe running for the hills in the literal sense. I think the entire real estate market is in, a, is in a bubble. I mean, suppressed rates, that's what it does. I mean, we've had this for the longest time here. We're starting, as a matter of fact, we're starting to see real estate prices drop at their fastest pace ever. Um, you know, and I, I hope people are paying attention to this too. But again, look, central banks are watching what's happening here. And I, who knows what they're going to pull out of their sleeves here. These, these have been the most crafty, twisted, perverted organizations in the history of the world here and uh, you know look look at what's happening here in the debt market now this 40 basis point drop in the 10-year yield in, in, in a matter of days that's pretty epic man that's central banks that's not you that's not me that's not the average guy or girl buying all of that that's central banks off of the back of the bank of england here we now set the stage we'll see um yeah i i, I don't think i'd be running out right now to buy real estate <laughs> i don't i really don't think i would um but you know look uh it, it, I, I own real estate. I own, I own this house. I bought this actually probably at the top of the market recently, but I felt that, you know, buying was better than renting. So I bought it and uh, I'm living with it. 
Before we continue, help us clicking that YouTube like button and subscribe now to our channel. This shows the algorithm that you valued this information. And it helps us spread that message. Sharing is caring. And now, let's continue. I have bad news for you. If you're not rich by now, you're screwed. And if you're in debt, you're even double screwed. How so, you might wonder. Well, the sad truth is that you're working your whole life to make someone else rich. The mega corporations, the banks, the politicians, everyone is getting richer. They get your money. And what is even worse, they get your time, they get your life. You are not even in a rat race, you're in a financial prison. But what could a solution for you look like? Honestly, I don't know, but I know what a solution for me would look like. It's very simple. I use whatever money I have and I multiply it with 1,000. This could make my life much easier and probably yours as well. If you have $1,000 available and multiply this with 1,000, I believe that this could solve some financial issue for the one or the other. Of course, if you're ugly, you would have to multiply it with much more than 1,000. My name is Marco Stan, and this is what I decided to do. I decided to 1,000x my money. This is not a joke. I know what you may be thinking. You know, what, what, what is this guy talking about? You, how should this work? This is not possible. Well, I made a detailed video where I laid out my plan. And some clever folks might even want to look at this plan and copy it and do exactly what I do. This is just a little hint on the side. You have two options. You leave, you forget what you have seen. You do whatever you're doing and you hope that somehow you get some other results. Good luck with that. Or you click the link below the video. You enter your email address because I'm not showing this to everybody. You at least watch my video on how I plan to 1000x my money. The choice is yours. Make the right choice. Join me. See what a different future you could have. See at least how I intend, how I plan to do the 1000x. So click on the link below, enter your email address, and I see you on the other side. Your Marco Stan.